Alright. It is 1230 and we're beginning our uh, consulting assay awesome. And Trevor and I are planning on going up there and getting a good amount of ore samples, fire assay, from what I understand. And uh, weather's not too bad. Anyway, we're gonna have some fun. Here we go. All right, so the old timers would have been working up the creek and there would have been, in theory, a consistency change in the gold, meaning it went from probably pretty smooth, worn stuff. This creek drains on uh, an ancient tra uh, riverbed, so it would have been smooth, big, worn gold. And when they got to here, they probably discovered up here on the bank, you can see those tailings piles, they probably discovered nice and rough newly deposited gold into the creek bed so then they would have followed it where the road is here now up this little tributary draw and headed up here which ultimately led to a discovery of a a uh, hillside a pocket on the hillside up above us a ways here there's a little bit of quartz right here starting us off sure enough doesn't look too interesting, but it's quartz. I mean, it's part of the something. something. We've got. Ooh, what the heck's that? Kind of a greenstone looking. So I guess <clears throat> this is already a known, documented discovery above here. So it's not like it's anything new. Other than this is a textbook book example of the stack is here. You can stack. Um, I think I'm seeing where they would have, yeah, they just dug it out of right there. So they were following up. So I believe above us there's more holes. So let's venture on up. As we continue up, more excavations here for the most part it's pretty easy to tell an excavation it's a flat spot on a hillside like right there you can see where that's been dug out right in there maybe right over there here it is we're on our way Here on the dump, we've got some crystallized quartz. A little bit of uh, a little bit of rustiness to it. And the host rock here is green something. I'd say it's an andesite. All right, so here's here's somebody else's sampling. And it looks like they used a square nail. Nice. Okay. So it looks like the strike of this vein is about like that. So then this would be the sill wall, and this would be the foot wall. There it is right there. You can hear it in the pick. You can hear the quartz much harder. 
softy, softy, and then to the scrape. So, I don't see it up there though. Okay, well, obviously somebody took a sample from right there. And I guess there's a little seam right there. I guess so. Stuff on this side looks decent. So we're looking for mineral mineral mineralization. Which is ultimately some rust. A little bit maybe right there. Okay, here it is on the ceiling. Okay, so you can see the strike now. Right up through here. Okay, so it's It's buggy through here, showing oxidization. There's a bunch of it Ooh, right there. This would be a sampling area right here. There you go, this seam. This one's real rusty through here. Looking for big hanging rocks. Solid, solid. If it's hollow, that one, see that one's a little bit hollower sounding? That one's not attached as well. It's not bad, but... Oh, that one right there, see that? Oh, that one's solid. There's a piece of steel there using this muck on top of it. A muck plate, or a yeah. slick plate. So somebody was... Found something maybe right in here. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, very good. So there's still muck on the walls here from blasting. Yeah. Back, back in. Oh, well, that's the slime. Yeah. So. I can't do the hard head anymore. Oh, you. I'm too tall for this crap. Here. Really broke it. Crystal pocket. There was another. Okay. A little bug here. Not serpentine right there. Oh, it did. It did. It turned into serpentine. So, serpentine does not make the best tunnel. On this side, over here, it's it's the end of sight. That's still. So now we're cruising right down the contact. This might be serpentine. Oh, down. Yeah, it's serpentine. You're right. Okay, so that means they they went through the body of of andesite and into serpentine and the gold ended in here. Look, here's the end of the hole. Ta-da! Okay, so let's go back and find that zone where it converts, changes. Complete and thorough classification of your findings is an essential when assaying and uh, consulting on mining properties. Because without accurate science information, what good are you doing? You're only going in circles. So here we are. We're going to tag the site with this. Fill up the bucket. At least a reasonable amount of filling with uh, ore. Potential ore. And we're going to keep it cataloged. That's a dynamite box, right? See the square nails in it? Oh, hell yeah. Check that button. Touch it. It's like wet cardboard. <laughs> Isn't that wild? That's crazy. Suspicious looking. See oh, that little gleam in there? I see that. What? Get your finger in there. Oh, no, just mud. <laughs> oh, I sure that was. Looking. Yeah, just the muddy yeah, shit. Like what do you expect? Gold, that's what we well, expect. we are in a gold mine. Minor details. You see what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> ah, those damn minor details. I'm a funny guy. That's the right looking type of stuff. The better looking stuff we've seen. Those pretty yeah. fine. So 
the rust color shows minerals. All the minerals. We'll take all of the minerals. All the minerals. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's over here. How much wider that is. We should be going for that too. Might probably knock some of it out right here. There you go. Oh, we got a plan on your shirt. <laughs> right. That's a nice sample right there. Look at that. There. Oh, nice. All right, you can see the beginning. You can see where that eventually will turn into a vug right there, where the pyrite will oxidize and basically disintegrate, go away, and leave a void. That's not very far from the surface. And so, so whenever the, there's micron <coughs> bits of gold in that pyrite or around with that pyrite, and after the pyrite, oxidizes and goes away, those little microns find each other and make a little bit bigger micron of gold. Cool. Well, that's a nice. Took a really fancy letter. <laughs> Tromp down through the brush, making it back to base camp, getting ready to load up. Found some interesting stuff up above. Another good day. <laughs> 